Hello and welcome to another video. We're going to be talking about shells today, so bash, sh, zsh, etc., and why some of the commands that you type into your terminal are actually shell built-ins and not actual executables. Uh, we talked about CD and why it has to be a shell built-in, but I'm specifically talking about uh, commands that are also provided as executables, things like echo, true, false, the left square bracket, and others. Uh, so anyway, let's jump into it. So in order to show this, first I wanted to show you some of some examples of these commands that are present in multiple places. So for instance, the square bracket command uh, is both a shell built-in, and if we were to run it, it's actually an executable as well. And you'll see that they almost report the same. This one actually says bash here, so it's giving you a hint that this is not the uh, bin square bracket. Um, the same is true for things like test and true and false. Uh, these are also provided as bin test, bin true, uh, bin false. There's also uh, echo is another example of this. So if we do type echo, it's going to be a shell built-in. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of these uh, shell built-ins that are also present as commands. And they all function mostly the same. There's a few that don't. Uh, kill is one of the ones which uh, is pretty different. So for instance, we do help for bin kill versus kill dash dash help, you'll see that they have a slight different set of uh, options. And, the, the shell one is slightly different than the one that's in bin. Uh, there's a few others that differ slightly, but they're mostly in line with each other. Now, the main reason for making things a shell built-in versus an executable comes down to performance. And that is that starting an executable is relatively slow to just parsing a command and performing the side effect within the process. Uh, the easiest way to show this is with the time built in. <laughs> um, for instance, if you do time true, you'll see that it's always going to be essentially 0, 0, 0, 0. Whereas if we're running bin true, you'll see that it's often taking some non zero amount of time. And while this doesn't feel like a lot, yeah, it's, you know, one thousandth of a second uh, every time that you're using true. Uh, this adds up a lot in shell scripts, and so it tends to do stuff directly within Bash without having to create a process, ex execute that process, wait for that process to finish, and look at its exit code and, and all that other stuff. So we can just do that work directly inside the shell interpreter and not have to switch contexts and do all that other stuff, uh, which is expensive. You know, creating processes, even if they're trivial, like true, uh, take, a, take some amount of time. And so they've optimized those to be shell built-ins. There's also a few other cases where things must be shell built-ins, things like CD uh, or source, or uh, those are the only two that I can think of, uh, where, where it makes sense, where, where it has to be within the shell and cannot be as a sub-process. Uh, but anyway, that's why shell built-ins exist. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.